So, um, this hair, it's, uh, I need to go back to, like, kind of my regular hair color. Just because it was originally like magenta. Now I know the fan in here is really loud. And why am I filming me dye my hair? Because a lot of people do it and they think it's fun. And there's a lot of stuff going on in my life. And let's do some fun stuff. I have, you know, more appointments for autoimmune diseases that I have. We need to get more biopsies, more things done so they can know how to help me. So that's that my hair, but we're no holes barred. I'm poor. So yeah. This. It was three dollars and fifty cents from the dollar ammo. And yeah, you know, and I'm gonna bet you that it's still gonna work anyway. Yeah. I've dyed my hair a bunch of times. Like when I was a teenager I used to dye my hair all the time. I also have like a wicked short hair, like shorter than pixie cut. And I think I shaved my head once on a day or two. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I don't always remember my teenagers. Um, but there's the instructions. I'm gonna read them. And they have like these little fancy gloves on them that peel off. <laughs> Brings me back to when I was younger. Alright, let's try reading. Um, again, I know the fan is really loud, and um, Amazing Race is on the TV, so I hope you can hear it because I have to do with it. I can't listen to me on. Raiden's hard. Mostly, I just went to the optometrist today, and I'm going to get new glasses, and I'm thankful. I'm lucky enough the government is paying for it because I am on disability, and it is, I mean, the fact that I'm going blind, we don't quite know why, when it was going to happen, it's just getting faster because of the autoimmune. So shortness has really been affecting my eyes. So my right eye currently sees double. I didn't know this till about last week when I saw my family doctor and he tested my eyes and my left eye sees pretty well but my left one is like double. So he told me, you know, like you need to see your optometrist. He's already sent, and so has the rheumatologist that I saw originally for the Shogun's, uh, sent in a uh, sent in a recommendation or referral, referral, that's the word, referral to an ophthalmologist so they can look into more to see exactly what was going on. But I didn't have to go to the optometrist so I can see, I mean, I've got bruises like everywhere. There's one there, there's some here, there's one up here that's healing. They're everywhere because I just bump into stuff. And I have no depth perception. So, not seeing Dilla on this eye will probably be wonderful. So let's try to read the text. Um, Spanish. I, I can't read Spanish. Let's just go French. I, I speak French. Okay, very well. So, <laughs> it's up in the ball. Okay, that's not really what the first is. Let's read it in French, because a lot of people don't really speak French, so. D'abord, on file les gants destinés à la coloration. Cassez l'embout de l'applicateur de la crème révélatrice, conformément à l'illustration, puis retirez le bouchon applicateur du flacon. So in everyday people words, it means you take these, these funny little flimsy gloves, and this, and you top this part off. That's the first step. Second step. Ensuite. Vassez la totalité du coffin du colorant sans ammoniac dans le flacon de la crème révélatrice. So, that means that you take this, which it says has no ammonia in it. I think that's good. And you pour it into here. I know what the next step says, but we're going to read it anyway. Enfin, refermez énergétique. Enfin, refermez énergétique. I can't say this word. Enfin. Refermez énergétiquement le capuchon applicateur sur le flacon de la crème révélatrice. Posez un doigt ganté sur votre extrémité ouverte et orientez celle-ci loin du visage. Agitez vigoureusement jusqu'à l'obtention d'un mélange homogène. Alright, seriously, like, I'm French. To the point that I did all my schooling in French. And um, I know these are written for like. You know, I mean, this is North American, so I guess they're catering to people in Quebec. 
You people in Quebec don't use these huge words. Hermetiquement. It just means like safely or it has something to do with like no bacteria. I think these words are. Yeah, they probably threw this through Google Translate, and that's why it makes no sense. Because those huge words are. are okay. Let's just do what we always do. Because I am that is of a girl, and um, we cut first, measure later. All right. And by that, I mean that one time when I was, I think I was 14 when I got my first dog, my parents, uh, my aunt lived in Yellowknife, so she sent me a dog. Her dog had a litter of dogs, and I got one in the mail. In the mail. Well, pretty much in the mail. It, it arrived on a plane. They sent it from Northwest Territories all the way to Moncton. I was about 14, and then my dad and I decided to go into the basement. We didn't have a garage yet. And um, we built this beautiful dog house. I mean, we had the same pitch for the house, it was matching everything, but we didn't measure how wide the door was and we couldn't get out of the basement. Yeah. That, that's how dad and I roll, you know. <laughs> just make something and hope you can get out of the door. <laughs> Alright, so that's just, I know how to do this stuff, right? So, shake this up, pop that top off, pour this stuff in, shake it all up till it's all one thing. But, again, like I said, I have dyed my hair before, so you gotta do a couple things beforehand. Um, one, I need to have my glasses off. Well, actually, I don't because if you don't know, I only have hair here. Like, all of this part is shaped. Um, I do definitely need a haircut, but for some reason around here now, it's 22 bucks just to shave this. I don't have that kind of money. I'm poor, okay? I live on 800 bucks a month. Seriously, I do. I am looking for a part-time job to help out a little bit. But even with that one, I mean, to be done. So, I guess I can leave my glasses on because it's just, I thought my glasses hasn't been to see, but you can see the difference. See the difference of the color? Um, I mean, I could like re-dye it, but I did have to bleach it to get it there. And um, I did ask, okay? I asked my Berito family. They all gave me a lot of good advice and to not let this fade much more. So we're going to head and do that. But I'm going to brush it out first. I know that much. I've already kind of done this before, but I have really, really curly hair, so it doesn't take much for it to start getting all muddy again. This is what I'm dying. If I get some on this part, I don't really, really care too much because it is going to get shaved. Um, I do think my mom's going to shave when she comes up on Sunday. Um, she used to cut my dad's hair, so I mean, I think she still has. But, um, I have, like, gray hair. Oh, well, 36, man. I'm gonna say. So, we're gonna start doing this. So, first off, I am wearing a shirt that if I dye it, make a problem with it, I don't care. And I also have a towel that I don't care if, you know, there's color that gets on it, you know. Not that I care about any of my towels, as long as they dry my body, I don't care what they look like. But that's me. But if I make a mess on this one, I'm, I'm cool. Trick number one I learned a long time ago. Because when I used to dye my hair back in high school, which was like 20 years ago, I'd use it like black with the, the blue in it that I had like this long of hair. So it would really turn all blue, but I'd also dye half my face. Put some lotion. Put the lotion on it. Put some lotion on my face, okay? This is also dollar store lotion. I mean, I picked this one up at the dollar store for like four bucks. But I also see it in stores for like $7.50, so that was sort of for me. Um, so the few things I do know about hair and skin, because I do know a thing or two, um, your hair and your skin will absorb the first thing that comes in contact with it. So if you just, just wash your hair, it still has a little bit of water in it, you might not get all the color into it. Same thing for your skin. So if you get your skin you know, all absorbed with something else, it won't absorb something to the color. It'll be a lot easier to wash off. And I only really care about my forehead. Before I really go too far and mess things up, I need to see how long. Oh, 25 minutes. Okay. I got a message. I'm selling a bunch of things on Facebook because, you know, I need some money and I don't need those things anymore. So, alright. So, tuck the collar off. Pour it in here. And I did pick like, a mahogany brown, knowing that there's a little bit of red still, like, in my hair. And I do know that red 
is a very hard pigment to make all of them black. So we're gonna close this hermetiquement, which means tightly. And then we're gonna shake it up. So haha. Since it's just this much, I'm gonna start at the bottom and that's just not gonna work. Put all my hands. Put it in there. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a hairstylist. I know that. I'm not worried about it. But now it's down there, so I'm gonna brush it here. Make sure I get it. Of course, I'm not gonna stand at my roots. One, your roots are close to your head, so there's heat. But my roots also aren't red, so. I don't really care about that part too much. But I want to make sure that I get everything in the red part. So, and it's getting all in my shirt because I have things called boobs because I'm a girl. That um, it's just like in my genes. My grandmother just had a lot. My mom didn't. Kind of skipped a generation. So I'm still going to go over the bottom of the roots again because I just combed it out and I can't tell that I missed some of them because your hair should be completely soaked or look completely soaked to make sure you got it everywhere. So I can definitely tell right here it's missing some. Go up a little bit while I do this. But I'm always going to drag it down to make sure that I cover the bottom part. Because that's the part that, you know, people are really going to see. Again, this part doesn't have any red in it. Why do I care if I, you know, if I kind of run out by there? It's not the end of the world. And if this really goes bad, I can just shave my head again. I mean, I could rock really short hair before, and I could now if I wanted to as well. Because this hair growth actually is about three years. Because I did almost shave my head. Because I lost a lot of my hair from anxiety. So yeah, anxiety can do that. It's up. So if I look here, I can tell it's not dark right there, so it's all missing right there. So in my hand. And. This is one thing I with this kind of stuff that you get at the store, is that the reaction for the color, it kind of starts happening right away. So you can't like take a break. I don't know what professional stuff does. Um, again, I can't afford professional stuff. If I could, I definitely would have gone there for sure, but I can't even afford a haircut, let alone them dye my hair. Um, I do have friends that are hairdressers, but it's actually against the law here for people who are licensed hairdressers to do things out of their home, like, even though they own a salon itself. See, there's not the stuff here. So yeah, it has to do with, like, the safety issues and cleanliness issues that... They have pretty high standards. I don't know how it is like around the world, but I know around here it is a thing. Um, one of my mom's really, really good friends, so she was the one who cut her hair. She would cut our hair all the time before like that was the law when I was quite younger. We would just go to her house. Um, she was just a barber. And for the longest time, we had a difference between a barber. Oh my gosh, we hear Gotta get this out so it makes sense. Um, there was a difference between a barber and a hairdresser. A barber didn't need to know how to color hair. They didn't need to know um, a lot of different techniques because a barber was someone who catered to men's hair. And so I would say 20 something, 22 years ago or something like that, they changed the law here in New Brunswick where everyone who does hair has to be a certified um, hairdresser in the same manner. They all have to know the same techniques. They all have to know the exact same stuff. 
and then that's when they brought in the health and safety laws. But if you have them in your home, you have to have them in a different part of the house. Same thing for the people who do like meals and stuff like that. You have to have a different part of your home where they have access to a bathroom, but they can't see what's inside your actual house. Um, again, it's, it's safety for yourself so that nobody steals stuff in your home, but it's also safety mostly for the client that you're adhering to the beauty standards and, and cleanliness and sanitization and all that kind of stuff. So before I comb the rest of the room, I am now, because it's like this color now, it started off like a really light, light. All right, for all those people of you that are actual hairdressers, you're probably like screaming because I am pulling some of my hair out. <laughs> um, that's okay. I lose my hair all the time anyway, like whether I be doing this or not, or just in the shower. But I am not going to forget to do the underneath. Sometimes I think, sometimes I don't. Today's okay day for me. I know a lot of these end up like being total fails and then Brad Mondo looks at them and he yells at people. I love Brad by the way. I think he's great. Do I think this video is going to end up? No, because I think I'm going to end up doing pretty good because I can see right there. I can see a little bit. Good thing it's my left eye that I'm looking for. It's my good eye. I'm from the country, okay? I grew up with a family of hunters and a mother that just loved to clean. And um, I can pretty much take a stain. I can pretty much take stains out of anything by now. Like my dad, he also paved driveways and roadsides for many, many years before uh, he slipped discs in his back. So, I mean, he had, like, tar on everything. Not that you can take that out. And I'm also very clumsy. Again, I don't see very well, so I drop all of the food on myself. I drop a lot of everything else on myself. Whew. I'm gonna add a little bit over here to hide the gray hair. <laughs> it's kind of funny how, like, the instructions say, like, use all the product. They don't necessarily mean use all the product if you don't have a lot of hair. They just mean that you can't put it aside and try to use it again on another day, is what they're trying to say. Um, there are some that you can get. Mostly the ones that like are the semi-permanent, so the ones with like, the really, the, the ones with the really vibrant colors, some of those, because you only mix what you need when you need it, some of those you can put aside and use another day. But this stuff you can't. Like I said, the reaction happens almost immediately. So I'm just trying to hide some gray hair. Don't know why. I'm probably gonna shade it off to like a one. <laughs> um, yeah. The shorter it is, the less you need to. The shorter your hair is, the less often you need to cut it when you're poor. So final comb through. I'm pulling some out with the comb. It's okay. At least I'm getting it everywhere. color like under there. Cause I do I do wear my hair up a lot so I do the underneath. Alright, so I've got it all in there. So I'm just gonna like get it out of my way. Sink. I did wash the kitchen sink just to make sure there's. I don't know. I'm gonna use the kitchen sink because I don't want to stain the one in the bathroom. Kitchen one stainless steel is gonna. So you put a little water in it, suds it all up a little bit, rinse it out till there's no more color, and then you put some other stuff in. Now I don't have that much hair, so I'm just probably gonna use like half of it and then keep the other half you know, rolled up and use the rest like maybe like a week later to make sure that kind of stuff. All right. So, let's see. Um, I'm really confident, actually. And um, my makeup held up pretty well. Decision formula, pretty good settings for today. Today, everything's drugstore. Except my eyes. I have morphe on my eyes. 
Yes, yeah, early to get the sides cut. But. So yes, I did put the conditioner, put half of the conditioner on my hair, and I did run it through with my wet brush that I usually use in the shower. So. so looks good for now. But the real test is going to be when it's dry. <laughs> Obviously. All right. So I didn't want to ruin the shirt, so I just kept this tank top. I wear a tank top under all my shirt because I can't find bras that hold this stuff. Oh, um, but my hair. I'm very happy with it. Three dollars and fifty cents, y'all. It worked. But there is something pretty icky. Gotta show y'all. Do you see that white stuff falling? See? That's snow. We're April 25th. What, Mother Nature? Seriously? Whoever broke your heart, like, I'm really sorry, but you gotta get over it. Stop snowing. For those of you wondering, I did not make a huge mess in my bathroom at all. I did make this thing one day then. The power went out and I painted it and glittered it all up. Uh, but yeah. I did not make a huge dress. Ooh, let's look at this. That is Elizabeth Grant moisturizer with a retail value of $160 that I got for $9.99 at Winners. But I also love this La Creme Jelly Mask. And yeah, and I do have speakers in my bathroom, so I usually listen to music while I shower. So there you have it. You can dye your hair. It's a pox of the hair dye that you buy for $3.50 from the Dollarama. Because I just did. Because I was poor. Now, I'm trying to get my hair cut. So my mom doesn't have the clippers anymore. They want to charge, and they do charge, $22 to shave this. Really? Really? It takes them like five minutes. It used to be nine. They used to charge it under like a trim, under like the men's haircuts. But now apparently it's the same. And for all of you who was wondering how I got my hair cut before, um, we sent a friend, she had the clippers, she can only do them. But sometimes you gotta let go of tops of people. Unfortunately, I mean, she was my best friend. I loved her to death. But she also sucked all my energy out, and I just, I just kind of. So now I need to find two and two bucks. Either way, my hair is looking more like a, an actual human head. And when I first dyed it, it was a great color. I dyed it a few times in between there, um, but then it was just this, this weird, lucky, orangey color, so now it just looks more normal. So I'm keeping it that way for a while. I dyed my hair a different color. I just didn't do something different for once, but now it's, it's, it's back to that, and um, is that it? So, it works.